Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome back to Thailand Outlook, the news digest program broadcasting from Radio Thailand FM 88 and also online at prde.prd. I'm k a t a n g w i t h i t First up on our show today, MTAC, NSTDA, and the United Nations Environment Program, or UNEP, have organized a seminar titled "A Dialogue on Life Cycle Approach to Addressing Plastic Pollution," and the gathering was aimed at promoting sustainable plastic management strategies. An event focused on the application of life cycle assessments, or LCA, principles to reduce plastic waste, and featured insights from national and international experts, including、uh, the Pollution Control Department and UNEP. Now, participants share best practices and discuss the role of the LCA tool,、um, US ETAX, in avoiding harmful substitutions. And the seminar concluded with a strategic meeting to outline recommendations for future activities. This is in line with global efforts to address plastic pollution, including marine environments. And for our next story today, the Ministry of Transport has recently announced a 2.68 trillion baht investment project to really revolutionize Thailand's transportation systems. The plan includes expanding rail networks, upgrading key airports, and introducing over 3,000 electric buses in Bangkok. Uh, by year's end, to support green logistics and reduce emissions, highlights include the Bangkok n a k h o n r a j a s i m a high-speed rail and a three-airport high-speed train linking d o n m u e o n g s u w a n a p u m and u t a p a o airports. Now, the project aims to cut road congestion and emissions by 45.6 million tons by 2030, aligning with、uh, Thailand's commitments under the Paris Agreement. And for our third and final headline today, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Recently, led a delegation from 12 Thai educational institutions to Meghalaya, India, to promote educational and vocational cooperation. Meetings with the governor and chief minister of Meghalaya focus on enhancing collaboration in education, agriculture, and cultural preservation. And the Thai delegation also visited the Northeastern Hill University and the Institute of Hotel Management, where they explore students' exchange programs and joint research opportunities. The visit highlighted commitment to strengthening ties between Thailand and India's northeastern region. And that wraps up today's edition of Thailand Outlook. Thank you for joining us as we explore Thailand's efforts to address plastic pollution, the launch of transformative transport projects, and growing educational ties with India. Stay tuned for more updates next time. And until then, take care and stay informed. I'm k a t a n g with Tat Chit. Sorry, crap. In a move to address youth unemployment in the southern provinces of Thailand throughout the year 2024. The Ministry of Labor carried out a youth employment event in Yala and Songkla provinces, extending opportunities to Narathiwad, Patani, and Satun provinces. The program is a collaborative effort between the Youth for Future Project of the International Labor Organization, or ILO, the Ministry of Labor, Yala municipality, and various social sector groups, employers, and youth organizations, including large retailers. International partners, including the labor offices of Cambodia and Laos, also contributed to the program. The mayor of Yala City underlined that the event aimed to provide opportunities for skill development and job placement for young people, ensuring access to quality employment. Activities at the launch event included practical workshops to prepare youths for the workforce, with the Achieve Group organizing a well-attended seminar on career paths and experiences, featuring speakers from the esports industry and education sector. The event also featured a look and learn video clip competition, where participants showcased careers within their communities. Additionally, a career fair. Titled "Create Jobs, Employ Careers," saw the participation of 28 businesses, offering valuable insights and job opportunities for youngsters. 
Seeing youths as the future of the country and recognizing its own pivotal role in bridging the gap between education and the workforce, the Ministry of Labor emphasized at the gathering that it is important to develop and promote the role of youths in the nation's economic and social spheres. It outlined an aim to equip young people with skills that align with labor market demands, fostering partnerships between young talent and companies seeking human resources. Noted during speeches at the seminar was the fact that the Youth for Future project aligns with the ministry's goals supporting youth employment initiatives and nurturing a generation of skilled and quality leaders for Thailand's economic and social advancement. The seminar and its outcomes paved the way for a positive impact on the youths and residents of Yala and neighboring provinces, providing them with access to employment opportunities and preparing them for fulfilling careers aligned with their aspirations. The success of young people from these provinces is expected to enrich and uplift their communities, aiding in the effort to better the South away from past conflict and hardship. Thailand Magazine Cycling in the city can be tough. The pollution, the traffic, the crowded sidewalks. But Bangkok is an all-concrete jungle. Nicknamed the Green Lung, the Bangkrachao Green Space is located in the outlying district of Prapadang. The nickname is well-deserved. Besides filling your lungs with clean air, the area itself resembles a green lung from a bird's-eye view. Spread over 12,000 rai, or just under 2,000 hectares, Bangkrachao is part garden, part nature reserve. The best way to reach it is by boat across the Chao Priya River. The boats moor along the piers near Wat Klong Tui Na, a temple worth visiting in its own right. Once you get to the other side, you'll have a few bicycle shops to choose from, which also give handy maps of the area. Within Bangkrachao is the Si Nakon Kuen Khan Park and the Botanical Garden. It's a beautiful, luscious park filled with well-paved bike lanes and wooden walkways that weave through the dense forest and many water features. With all the scenic routes and verdant forests, you might even forget you're still in Bangkok. For a breath of fresh air, go on www.tourismthailand.org to learn more about the Green Lung. <laughs> 